Hi guys, welcome to my home. In today's video, I'll be working here in the living room. As you can see, there's still some Christmas things going on in here. I'm gonna take that away, and I'm not sure how much I'll actually get decorated in this video. Um, I'm gonna think you know, more along the lines of spring, of course, as I start redecorating in here, but in this video, I really just wanna show you my new curtain idea. I knew someday I'd be replacing my 12-year-old curtains that I have in here. Some of them are coming apart at the seams, and I always thought drop cloth would be so beautiful in here. I have that in the kitchen for valances, and I always thought it would be nice to have panels that are drop cloth. And one of you guys actually mentioned it in a comment. I think I had read it in the last Q&A, how beautiful that would be to have drop cloth in here and then set my rods like above the window. Um, that really makes a room appear larger. And I just thought it's time for an upgrade in here. Uh, there's a few things I wanna do, maybe even this winter yet in here, but I'm gonna start out with the curtains. Uh, eventually maybe get to some of the furniture and maybe even the walls like a new color possibly even just white we'll see but for today let's work on the curtains the idea I have is to use a drop cloth and bleach it so join me as I work on this and enjoy I normally buy all of our drop cloth at Walmart it's in the paint section and for years I've had products on the Etsy shop where we use drop cloth you know to make things with so I normally keep our local Walmart pretty much wiped out with drop cloth uh, today they have a few pieces left over thankfully because I do need a few more pieces for my eight curtains that I'll need for the living room. Grabbed some bleach. I'm planning on buying new curtain rods for this project too. I really debated to try and use my old ones. Years ago I had used pieces of conduit, spray painted it black and used that to hang my curtains with but unfortunately I think they're a little bit too short if I go ahead and hang them above the window. I want them to be fairly wide, kind of sticking out on either side of the window, like wider than the window. And at the time when I used this conduit, that was just kind of what we had on hand. I didn't want to spend the money for new curtain rods. Here I found some that were only $11 for one. I think that's a pretty good price. Pretty sure it's probably not the quality like some brands would be, but I think it'll work for my project. Before starting on removing the Christmas decorations, I'm going to go ahead and soak a piece of drop cloth. This will be my sample, kind of see how it goes before I even go with this further. I did a little bit of research online on how much bleach to use and then how long to soak fabric. And I came up with around four cups per piece of drop cloth, which I'm about to soak in our bathtub. And it's said to soak it around four hours, but by the time I'm editing this video, I ended up doing barely four hours, maybe three to three and a half. I could maybe have put more water in my tub and just more bleach and soak, you know, two or three pieces at a time, but I really wanted to do this right and not have them turn out splotchy or anything. I just felt like I have more control if I just do piece by piece. I ended up using my washer to soak some of the pieces in. Also, I have a soak setting on my washer that seemed to work quite well. After I soaked the pieces, I washed them in my washer and dried them in the dryer and you would not believe how nice and soft and just that perfect color they turned out to be. Um, they're not much lighter but a little bit if I compare to a new piece that hasn't been bleached there's definitely a little bit of a difference enough to you kind of see it if you hang it up you know against a window. Um, it is that perfect shade of cream that I was looking for. I can't wait to see these hanging. Already I can tell the walls are probably going to need white paint because I can just tell the color of the drop cloth is almost the color of my Darling Dub walls and I really do want these to kind of pop so I think painting the walls white will have that effect.
I know, nothing like just walking all over our furniture, right? It's not that we don't have ladders, but uh, sometimes it's just easier and quicker this way. Plus, we plan to get new furniture soon anyway, so I guess it's not that big a deal. Here I'm trying to make things a little bit easier with hanging these curtain rods. Definitely not one of my favorite things to do, but I saw on Pinterest where people actually make a pattern uh, that you can kind of hang over the corner of your window with holes in it to mark exactly where your hangers will go or holders for the rods. I used the cover of a magazine, something a little bit stiffer than just normal paper, although you could probably just use regular paper. Um, cardboard, tack board, uh, card stock, anything like that would work too. I just taped it together and then marked where my holes need to go. Uh, first I of course held a rod up to the window, kind of measured to see where exactly I want it to be placed. So I had a hard time getting the plastic anchors and the screws into the wall. It just seemed I couldn't throw my weight on that drill, being that it was up high like this. So John to the rescue, um, he kindly put them all in for me, which I was really thankful for. We've been having such cloudy weather here in Ohio and I know the lighting isn't the best but hopefully you guys can kind of tell how I'm doing this. I'm just folding over the top end of the piece of drop cloth and I want my seam to be exposed like on the outside. I kind of like that look and all of the places I plan to attach my clips onto the drop cloth I plan to kind of pinch making it look uh, tidier I think. For me it was easier to do both ends first and then find the middle and do that one and then I still had four more pinches to go. I see I didn't get all of my foldovers even along the top. That can always be adjusted later on. Now keep in mind it's not really decorated in here. I just basically you know, removed the Christmas decorations and left things the way they are. But that's for another video. I guess this video is focused on the curtains and I could not be happier with them. I um, absolutely love the way it looks. I wonder what you guys think. Definitely an improvement.
I feel like I'm sitting in a new room. I can't believe the difference these curtains have made. Like, why didn't I do this before? It's just amazing walking in here. Everything seems bigger, like the ceilings seem higher. I definitely advise anyone to set their rods above the windows. Not sure what I was thinking years ago when I had them along the trim, but my, what a difference this makes. Before ending here, I do have a few products I wanna show you that are available for Valentine's Day on the Etsy shop. A few videos back, I had done a Valentine's Day video where I also showed you like the wooden heart cutouts that we have and then the conversation hearts. Those have really been a hit. In fact, right now we're just scrambling to get them made fast enough. I had showed you some pillows and table runners. We still have some of those in stock. So in addition to those items, I wanna show you the cute little candles that we have available for Valentine's Day. Aren't these just adorable? These come in two great smelling scents. We have two different styles of glass containers for these. And speaking of candles, we actually have some that are on sale, some Christmas candles and even a few fall ones. And then we have a few left over from last year that are on clearance, so you might wanna check those out. They still have a great scent, nothing wrong with them, just wanting them to be out of the way, make room for new ones. I'm really excited to show you the Valentine's Day soap we have. Once again, we have a set of two, uh, kind of a guy and a gal scent. The guy scent is tobacco and bay leaf, and the girl scent is raspberry and vanilla, a classic for Valentine's Day. Gotta say, they smell wonderful together. And the other one we have is something a bit different. I was experimenting with soap and beds, and I think these turned out great. And the scent for this one is the roses and peony, one of my favorites. I thought it's also really fitting for Valentine's Day. And the final item I wanna show you that I'm really excited about is something my son is doing. Um, I think these turned out so cute. They're little wooden keychains, so fitting for Valentine's Day or throughout the year, of course. Um, I think these would make a lovely gift for that special someone. And these do vary in size, not a whole lot, but they're not all quite the same. I'll make sure to include that in the listing description for you. He's really excited to work on these. I hope you guys were able to glean something from this video. If nothing else, just seeing how little it takes to make a huge difference in a room. I just feel like I didn't spend a lot of money. I mean, for a curtain panel, you know, $12 is really cheap. And I have this feeling I really wouldn't have been able to find curtains even if I would have spent, you know, $50, $60 per panel uh, getting this look exactly what I wanted. I mean, just that nice, soft, bleach drop cloth fabric. Um, I just think they're perfect. And if you're at all thinking of doing this in your home, go for it. Visit your local Walmart paint section and see if you can snag some drop cloth, take it home, bleach it. And maybe you wouldn't even have to bleach it if you don't mind a little, just a little bit darker look. I think that's pretty too. As always, I hope your day is going great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.